Okay, homesteaders, we're going to make some cornbread. I know some people like cornbread, some people don't. I'm going to show you an easy way of making cornbread from scratch. It's healthy and it's easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with two cups of flour. And you can do whatever type of flour you want. I just use white flour. So you put two cups of flour in a big bowl. Then you're going to add some baking powder. You're going to add, let's see, one tablespoon of baking powder. Again, that's one tablespoon. And this is a half tablespoon, so I'm going to be doing two of these. But total, it's just one tablespoon. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to add two-thirds of a cup of sugar. And you can mix all this around and figure out if you want more sugar or more flour or things like that. I'm just going by what I do. So in this bowl, you're going to go ahead and Stir up those four ingredients really well. And then you're going to be sitting this bowl to the side. And we'll be coming back to this bowl after a while. So after that's mixed up, we're going to go to the next step. The next step is we're going to add milk and cornmeal into this bowl. Now what I do is because I buy whole corn for my animals... I just use corn and I have a coffee grinder and basically you want a cup and a half of cornmeal. So I just do three half cups of corn because that's what fits inside of my uh, mixer. And I just put it in there like that, stir it up. And you basically want to go until you don't hear that clicking anymore. That means you got nice cornmeal that's not all gritty and grainy. And it's nice and fresh. There's no chemicals in it, no preservatives in it, no antibiotics or things like that. It's, you know, straight corn. And by doing it fresh, you don't have the problem of having to put preservatives in it like the cornmeal you buy at the grocery store. So let's go ahead and do the second one. And one more. Like I said, you're going to do about three of these. That's going to be a cup and a half. All right, so we have the cornmeal there then we're gonna go ahead and mix two and a half cups of milk
Okay, so we got two cups here. And then we're going to add another half a cup of milk. And then you want to go ahead and stir that up really good so it's well mixed. And then because we're using whole corn that we're grinding up on our own, we want it to go ahead and sit here for at least an hour, if not an hour and 15 minutes, so the corn softens up and you won't have crunchy cornbread. So now that that's mixed, we go ahead and grab everything else. Put it in the sink, put the ingredients away, and I'll be back in an hour. Okay, we're back. It's been just over an hour. I went ahead, um, preheating the oven right now, and I want to get the oven, the, or the oven up to 400 degrees. So while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and do last of the process. So now that your cornmeal and milk have been sitting here for just over an hour, and the corn has softened up. You're going to take your mix that you made earlier and you're going to dump it in there. Then you're going to mix it up real well. All right, so now that you have it mixed up, you're gonna go ahead and add a half cup of vegetable oil. And then once you add the vegetable oil, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna crack and add two eggs. And once you have the vegetable oil and two eggs in, you're going to go ahead and mix it up really well. And then we got one more step after this, and the cornbread goes into the oven. Okay, if you've seen in my other videos for different things like cutting onions or garlic or dealing with oils and butters, I'll go ahead and I use nitro gloves that you can get at any of your Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I use country crock. Some people like regular butter, some people like lard. Crisco, what have you. But what I do is, and this is the final step, you're going to take some butter or Crisco or lard, whatever you want to use, and you're going to grease out a pan. So I use the glove so I don't have the butter on my hands. And you want to make sure you get the sides too. And if you do a good job at greasing your pans, you're not going to have the cornbread sticking and it's going to come out nice and clean. So it's worth putting a little bit of time and effort into doing it right. So my pan's done. I'm going to go ahead and mix that a little bit of oil showing. So I want to get that mixed in. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
with a cornbread end. So once the oven's preheated, which mine takes a little bit longer, you're going to go ahead and put the cornbread in for about 30 to 35 minutes. And I'll get that in the oven when it's up to temp. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, with my oven, it takes about 33 minutes. And you can see that I get the nice golden brown crust. We're going to go ahead and get a spatula. Cut into it and pull a slice out. Now, as you can see, it's nice, it's moist, and you just put a big glob of butter on it and it just falls apart in your mouth. And by putting the butter in the pan, it comes right out. You don't have a crust stuck in the pan and lose half your cornbread that way. And my animals love it. I feed it to the chickens, the ducks, the turkeys, the goats, and even the Anatolian shepherds. They all chow down right on it. So this dish will go out to them in the morning and I'll make me another dish tomorrow. Have a good night. Uh, down below in the description box, I'll have the ingredients and how I prepare mine. And like I said, you can do different oils, different flours. Do it how you want to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. So have a good night. If you like this video, please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up. Thank you. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.